I had a great experience this weekend I wanted to share with you guys. I had an invitation to go and visit a, a teacher. Um, we knew each other through work, but we hadn't met in person. And he extended an invitation for me this weekend when I was in the city um, to come and visit him at a cafe. And uh, so I was able to ride my bike um, in the big city, uh, riding a city bike through the city to get to the cafe, which is quite an arduous adventure. There's taxi drivers and people are texting and not paying attention and there's a lot of traffic. So it was a, a really super uh, alert and aware adventure. And when I arrived at the cafe, um, I was sweaty and I was hot. I was late because I'd gotten fully cut off at one point by someone who was texting and not aware and, uh, you know, ended up having to, to regather myself and continue on for the ride. Anyways, I get to the cafe, I go to park my bike. The waitress comes streaming out of there, screaming her head off because she didn't want me to park my bike in front of the cafe. Obviously she was having um, a pretty intense day. And uh, you know, I was able to like completely have this full dispute with her. And at the whole time, as soon as I had pulled up to the cafe, as soon as the waitress was screaming at me about my bike, as soon as I was like all, you know, in a fluster, I could feel this teacher. He was sitting in the sun uh, outside and there was such a energy of like cool, peaceful, blissful stillness. And it was authentic, um, but it was just such a great hysterical um, difference between, you know, contrasting our two energies where I'm like sweaty and dirty and hot and having a fight with the waitress and screaming about my bike. And inside of me behind all of that was this huge smile, watching how freedom is big enough to hold whatever authentic shapes are in there. Real authentic freedom is actually the full permission to be exactly as we are as it arises. And I wanted to point this out because it is so often the case with, with students and on our spiritual search to have a preconceived idea about what peace or freedom looks like. And it's this blissed out, spacious, kind of mellow, peaceful, half smile, look and sometimes we can have a very subtle movement to try to put ourselves into that state and then hold that state now at times it absolutely authentically arrives for us there are moments where we feel really spacious and really blissed and really calm but to hold or maintain that shape becomes some effort and it becomes an identity of freedom versus actual freedom. So I just want to check in with you and let you know that, you know, our freedom is big enough. Even as I came and sat at the table and was all flustered and sweaty and hot and laughing and goofy, knowing that my freedom is big enough, that it contains all of that, that it doesn't, I didn't have to like contain my energy and take on this blissful, spacious, still, half smile, place and define that as freedom, define that as being centered, define that as being, you know, present, because that's just not true. And that's just a lot of effort. I'm sure a lot of you have come across that, have seen that, have watched that, this artificial holding this state of cool, spacious stillness and referring to that as peace or referring to that as being centered. And that's just ridiculous because your freedom is so much more, so much more than that and uh, maintaining any kind of identity or shape or story about what your freedom looks like is uh, just ridiculous hogwash.